and welcome to SolidWorks Station. My name's Stuart, and in today's tutorial, we're going to look at creating this Hugo Boss aftershave bottle. Uh, a few things we're going to learn how to do here. We're going to learn how to do a revolve boss base. We're going to learn how to place on fillets. We're going to use the uh, thread feature in the hole wizard. We're going to look at shelling. We're going to look at um, changing the appearance of a particular um, body in this case. And we're also going to look at applying decals as well. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to go up to File, New, and create a new part. I'm going to draw this in my front plane normal two and I'm going to get a center line and I'm just going to draw that straight through the origin like so. I'm going to grab the center point of this line hold down control and grab the center point of my origin zero zero and make those coincident. I'm now going to smart dimension this line at 150 millimeters. I'm now going to get a normal line and I'm going to draw out half of the bottle. Okay. Okay, like so. Let's smart dimension this up. So I want this to be 10 millimeters here. I want this line here to be 20 millimeters. I want this to be 85 millimeters. And I want this to be 30 millimeters. Okay, it says it's fully defined. However, I want to place some angles on this. So um, I'm going to go to sketch fillet. I'm going to put 15 millimeters in here and here. And let's go with a 40 millimeter fillet here. Okay. You can change that to whatever you want that to be. Um, this is a, a a unique bottle that I'm designing. I'm not taking that this from a, a particular uh, Hugo Boss um, aftershave bottle. I've just come up with those dimensions. But you're uh, feel free uh, to manipulate these values to whatever you think looks like a, a nice design. So from here, I'm going to go to Features. I'm going to go to Revolve Boss Base. And it's telling me that this sketch is currently open. The reason it's telling me this is because this is still a center, that, uh, center line. I could have closed this off with a, a normal line, but SolidWorks will do this automatically if I just press on the Yes button here. And there's my Revolve at Boss Base. Um, the axis of revolution it's taking is my line that I drew. Okay, which is perfect and we can accept this and press the green tick okay now this is solid all the way through I can check that by looking at this section view and if I just look through it just click on the green tick here you can move these around so I can look at different planes okay so my top plane my front plane and my right plane and if I click on the green tick I can see what's happening on, uh, on the inside of that at the moment it's solid all the way through we're going to change that um, so we're going to go to features and we're going to go to shell okay I'm going to do a thickness for this shell okay for the the wall of, of this shell to be um, let's go two millimeters and I'm just going to click on this top face like so and click on the green tick Okay, and what that's done is it's uh, hollowed out the whole of this particular um, aftershave bottle. And I can check that again by just going on the section view, clicking on my green tick, and you can see okay, that that has all been um, shelled out with a two millimeter constant wall thickness around uh, its outside. Okay, to get back out of that, just click back on the section view. Now from here, um, what we could do is we could put on the uh, the thread on the top. So we're going to go to features and hull wizard. Just click on this drop down arrow here and go to thread. 
and OK. Now the thread location okay, is going to be this outer edge here. Okay. We're going to choose a metric die. We're going to choose a M22.5. And I want you to turn offset on. Do control one on my keyboard there for a front facing view. So we've put offset on. So it's offsetting this uh, by one millimeter at the moment. We'll have a look at that in a bit. I want it to maintain the thread length. I'm going to up this maybe to 15 millimeters. In fact, let's do that 20 as that was the height of that. I want to reverse the direction of the offset and I want to increase this by three millimeters just so I get a nice end to that thread. Okay, and I'm going to change this down to 15 millimeters. Go a little bit further just to finish that thread off, something like that, 16. Okay, and green tick. Okay, and there we have our our thread applied. Control 7 on my keyboard will give me a nice isometric view of that. And then from there what I can do is start to apply a uh, material to this. So if I go into my appearances, scenes and decals, I'm going to go into appearance, I'm going to go into glass, I'm going to go to thick gloss and I want a clear thick glass to be put on here. Okay. Um, you can choose to do the whole body, you can choose just to do the revolve. I'm going to choose to do the body and then I'm going to go back into this I'm going to go to plastics high gloss plastic and choose a white and I'm just going to drop it onto this face like so okay um, from here what we can do is we can then apply a decal the way that I like to do this is go into my render tab which is not there at the moment but if I right click and so uh, select render click on my render tools go to edit decal browse uh, for the image path so you should be in the image tab here there's mapping there's illumination and image in the image tab go to image uh, file path and browse and we're going to browse on my desktop for hugo boss folder pick up the hugo boss now this is a png file okay and um, i find these a lot better to use than jpegs so I've got a PNG file here. Uh, you can search those quite easily on um, the internet. If you just search in a search engine for a particular brand um, and then .png, you should find those quite easily. From there, I'm going to click on the face that I want that particular um, image to go on. So I'm going to click on this high gloss. Okay, you can see it's applied it there. I want to go to mapping. And I want this to be, rather than cylindrical, I want it to be label. And I'm just going to play around with these settings here in order to make that fit nicely on my bottle. Something like that, maybe. Okay, you can rotate it if you wanted to. Okay, I'm going to keep this at zero degrees. You can mirror it horizontally. You can mirror it vertically. Um, and you can actually move the, the label around as well. I'm just going to do Control-1 on my keyboard. get this label facing me I'm going to try minus 52 no minus 47 oh, it's gone wrong to the other side minus 47 
Okay, about minus 48 there to get that um, central. And then I'm going to go onto my uh, image. Now, what you can do here is you can go to um, selective, uh, sorry, image mask file. Browse for that file again because this is a PNG file. Okay, and you can see what's happened there. Okay, it's masked off um, the uh, part of the the image that wasn't part of the of the lettering. Okay, there's been a mask applied to that PNG file. Uh, you can invert the mask if you want to. Okay, or you can have it the other way around. Another one that I like to do is go into illumination, and sometimes I like to choose the underlying appearance, and I like to put on the um, the inverted mask. Okay, uh, this makes it look like it's on the inside of the bottle. Um, whereas when you render it, this will look like it's on the, the outside of the bottle. So lots of different um, settings to play with there. Once you're happy with them, just press on the green tick. Control 7 on my keyboard to get a nice isometric view. And then from here, we can go into our SolidWorks add-ins. Turn on Photo View 360. We can go back into our render tools and we can do a final render. We could edit the scene if we wanted to. So we could go to edit scene, studio scenes perhaps, and a reflective floor, maybe black, and final render. Turn on perspective view, and then we would wait for this to, to render out. I'm just going to give this a few minutes whilst it does that, and then I will come back to you and we'll speak about what we've learned today. And there is the final render of the Hugo Boss aftershave bottle. I hope you found this tutorial beneficial. I hope you found it interesting. We've covered quite a lot today. We've covered the Revolve Boss base. We've covered how to produce a thread using the whole wizard section of SolidWorks 2019. We've looked at shell features. We've looked at uh, producing fillets within the sketch command. We've also looked at how to apply appearances and how to apply decals as well. And then we concluded with PhotoView 360 and how to add render tools to your SolidWorks um, workspace and how to produce a final render. If you're new to the channel, don't forget you can always like and subscribe and I'll see you all again for another tutorial from SolidWorks Station. Thank you very much and goodbye.